see what complexity bring to the table. More importantly, we'll see if FaZe woke up. Okay, well, just JT waiting at spawn at Speedway right now to respond to either side, but fast up Banana is where we're gonna charge. Fang and Floppy rooted very deep and towards the back of the B-bomb side. This is where JT's flash is gonna come into play. Floppy looking for the shots, can't find him this time. He's so successful without seeing opponents. He does this time. Oh, it's Fang. Okay, I was gonna say that doesn't see them against the shot because he's blinded up, finds Robs anyway. He's gonna get taken down. Better entry already from FaZe as Brokey then turns with a USP to try and fire towards CT. But it's JT they'll be worried about next. Slight gap in that smoke. He's trying to spot the feats. Watch Ooh. the lineup. He's already hit the Ooh. first. JT's got a second twist. Had to be so careful on that. Momentum rolling in his favor. It's down to a two on two. Grim's on 44. Twist is going to rotate back the other side on this. And if he doesn't see them at CT, he might even push all the way back because this will allow him to control the peak. It's planted fountain, remember. So Rain's going to bait them in further. Twist hits the shot. Grim's on 15. One more body shot will do it. And they may not know that yet, but they're about to find out because when they peak, he's sure to go down shortly. Not going to take any chances. Rain will get it. And it's the third pistol for FaZe. Yeah, playing with their food there at the end. So uh, we'll get the conversion. And you're right. The, the pistol rounds have not been a problem. So that, that doesn't change here moving into Inferno. But it's these second rounds where they've been taking a lot of casualties and those flow and effects of the economy have been coming back to haunt FaZe within the early stages of this. And this is an odd one here. It's not very often that you see teams go for four SMGs into either a CT or, or a T second round of play. But FaZe have opted for four MAC-10s here and one AK, and it is up against a four spike. It's head armor for three out of the five members and a run boost across with a tag. This is a perfect start. The reswing is mental, but he hit gets it same. done. How did, he, how did he hit rain twice on that, right? He reswings and he's just shooting. There's three targets and he's like, yeah, I got rain twice. Ah, that's crazy he gets away with that. Yep, well, first kill, but is traded. Importantly, that's worth noting. Twist still going to be holding out at B. Bombs back in Banana, and the rest of his team is going to come join him at this point in time. Solo hold right now. It's just floppy. Uh, one of the things when I was covering this team throughout the group stage is Complexity liked to do a, a drop of a lot of smokes towards first oranges. And this time around, they haven't done that. Just one defensive in the back of the site for Floppy. He has to buy a lot of time. The rotation is coming. Did Floppy just time when to throw the smoke based on the chicken reacting to the flash in the sky? Because that would have been pretty sick if that's how he did it. Brokey gets two on that, and he's going to chase them down towards CT. Shot out from the Glock, and it's unfortunately Glock 5-7. I'd give that one to Grim. Fair enough, but he's done the damage. They've got the round. It's going to go 2-0 for FaZe. I'm pretty sure as soon as he saw the chicken react to the nades in the sky, he threw out the smoke. Yeah, I, I did notice that as well, so that's quite curious. These bloody chickens, uh, they can well, if you help go, or hinder. Well, if you go way back, there was a clip with everyone's favorite player and the best of all time, Shroud. Okay, sorry, old... I didn't know where we were going. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, right, okay. I'm here. Yeah, no, back in the room. And uh, no, when the old Inferno, when it still had the arches down banana, mm. and he was like, I'm going to bait this chicken. And when the chicken started running, he just pre-fired it. A guy walked in and he headshotted him. Okay, so, so chicken strategies. It can be done. And they also explode just like that, unfortunately. Yeah, well, uh, they're going to respawn everybody. Don't worry. They come back to life just like the players in the server. But uh, a bit of a specky start with the Hauser peak and then the re-peak, but... A good reaction from FaZe here, and uh, here it is. Here's what you were talking about. So Chicken starts running. He drops the smoke immediately. So uh, I, I guess, yeah, the chicken the chicken helped him a little bit there. It may have coincidental, but you definitely could do that. Would you say it was foul play? Ooh. No, I'd say that was fair game. Okay, well, run boost again. Halzerk Airlines, everybody. It's a swift delivery. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, lands on the nade. Just throw me toward that, why don't you? I still have... Interesting round for FaZe to get past here, all things considered. There's a few little trap cards, two five sevens and a scout. Now with some tags to soften up would be name of the game for Halzerk here, but he will have to stay extremely mobile across the map and sudden dart back over towards B. He might be out of position as these smoke starts to plume. Bomb down towards T-Stairs, plenty of time on the clock. One of the keys I, I noticed with Brokey in that previous, and we were saying similar things with that overpass round where he pushed in on his loans with the AWP, it seems to be some frustration or just wanting to get it done there, like just taking the fight. This uh, aggressive side of Brokey, ever since people said he was a passive AWP, now he's anything but. Mm -hmm. Yep, <laughs> he's been anything but tonight. You heard that. Yeah, he took a, took offense to it, took exception. Good aid. Look at the amount of red that's going to get delivered. Oh, that's going to make this doable. Grim's got two on the 5-7. That need Grim. made this possible. Grim's up to three. He's not done there. He's going to push forward, but Rops controls it. Fang's next in line. Oh, my God. Here we go again. Phase win pistol and then lose to them subsequently. It's two to one. This is wild. Again, it's not even the... It's, it, it's the, the eco version. It's not the force. The force was last round. They dealt with the force. That was the hard round. This was just a couple of light upgrades. Halzerk's having a great time. The attitude here of this team is starting to shine. 
And remember, Phaser are mapped down if you're just joining us. This is Grim activating here from the Haycar. The double up with the 5-7. It just peppers away at Brokey as well. Rops left alive to do what he can. Fang chimes in. You love to see it as face. On the ropes right now, they're going to force by back. They're not done with the force by wars. AK's Galil, Deagle's in the mix as Banana. Seen that light liquor damage, a boost over the smoke here from Carrigan. Needs to get something done, but JT, that's the jump on him. That's a man advantage in this force by scenario. Rocky. Picks up the Galil. Holzerk still holding top middle, just shoulder peeking to make sure no one's going to work out from Boiler. And send the area in toward the tree position. If Floppy wants to push down to make sure Banana is absolutely clear, having done that, they'll. I, I was going to say they can rotate one player at least. They're going to rotate two off of this. So this will be fortifying the A defense. With JT at CT spawn and Fang already back around in front of Library. Ooh, good defensive. Oh, I was gonna say good defensive smoke. There's a gap. That's a problem. They might disrespect this now. But if you wanted to corral them up shore in towards the stack of Hounsirk and Grim, over towards the balcony and graveyard position is highlighted here. That is the death funnel. But uh, this long side is still a bit of a problem too. Fang is looking for the lurk around the gimmick of the smoke. JT to contribute from Speedway here. Rand's gonna limp one forward. So on the fly, dividing long. The flash over Fang sees nothing. But fortunately, JT is still here, so they can't get past without his vision. He's going to spot that, and this is where Fang should have activated. Rain gets away with a freebie. Yep. That's going to at least give FaZe a bit of a lifeline back into this Grim, though. Falling off the angle. Holzerk from Graveyard, and Grim's going to get another two toward Quad. They line up again. It's Twist and Rops to go down, and we have a tie game. Grim's on seven and two. Uh, we're four rounds into the game. He just had a banger of a showing on Overpass. He's finally left the prison that was Liquid, where he looked depressed time after time, and now he's got a massive grin on his face. Grim's grin. I would be smiling too. Look at that. It's just so easy. This is now the freebie round. It has to be the face. I, I've, I've already been here. I've already said this. I sound like a broken record at this point. This should not be happening in this series. FaZe have to take what is essentially an eco, a Deagle and a P250 with three clocks along for the ride. This will be a 3-2 start and Complexity have had a few of these maps that I was talking about in Pro League where they, they would start on the CT side and that was their downfall. They were unable to hold on on the defensive side. So here, this is a great leg up. They will need to get themselves close towards the double digits. Eight or nine rounds feels essential. But this is the foundation for something that could be a very strong CT haul and an upset that nobody was expecting here today. All Zerk. I, I mean, if you, you can meme overpass, but move past it quickly, if they still get through this, because it's phased, they can recover. If they go out of EPL in this fashion, yeah, nah, you're not, you're not gonna live that one down anytime soon. Especially with one event left to the Grand Slam. Yeah, okay, sure, they still have a chance to win that elsewhere, but it doesn't look great. Well, we, as uh, the storytellers, would love them to do it in Rio. It'd just be so much more exciting. That's true, maybe they thought of that. Yeah, uh, well, look, and I know that Yanko's there saying, no, they def they just wanna win AS, but maybe, you know, phase been like, oh, listen, boys, it'd be pretty cool if we could win in Brazil. So, uh, so far, so good. A, a complexity camp at dealing with this. Now, Brokey has been able to snatch an AWP, so that's a spanner in the works right now, but isolated towards that long side. Rops can't go back. You'd have to go through Floppy and JT, and I don't even think there's enough time, so we'll have to go forward into the 2A defenders here. Brokey might just want to hold on to this all. I orb. think he does, but I, he's backpedaling. He's coming toward the site. Bomb down? No way. You're not... <sighs> Why? I guess denying it, but this, this could be game plan. They don't want to operate with a T-side ult, maybe? It was denied. They didn't get to it. But I, 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 maybe. If, if, if they agree that they don't want a T-side ult, then fair enough. Just deny it. But he may not have thought he could get through CT spawn either because he never really went That's much true. on Arch. He might have thought he was surrounded no matter what. That's true. And going down after time and losing the ult would have been absolute worst case. So, uh, yeah, okay. Here he is trying to throw the AWP away. Uh, but eventually, just in trash, where the AWP belongs. <laughs> Light buy, well, it's not a light buy, but it looks like a light buy. A Galil and light on util for phase here for round number six and an aggressive apartments maneuver here. Grim, you've been good. You're gonna have to be great in this situation. Four reside in second mid. They're gonna set Brokey up on the balcony. Now, no, he has two flashes here. From this position, he can throw a moto smoke, he can throw double flashes to waterfall out, but the setup here, they have to get past this first. Zerk, no mistake on the first one. Rain's down. He spotted the second, so they're going to have some information. They want to flash in. Grim's not going to let that happen, but 
Rops already hits the shot instead. There's the flash over as well. They can start to clear toward the quad angle. All Zerks still waiting for it. Take a look at the radar. It has actually drawn a heavy rotation here. So both B defenders have come on over to respond to this util after the opening exchange, but they're not going to get the information. It's not top mid until the smoke clears on the short side. So Halzerk posted now under the porch is finally going to get the vision. The B is completely open. They're going to be down behind them, Matt. They're walking down behind on the perfect timing. B's open. They don't know. They're going to take time clearing this. That'll allow Fang to get back in place towards CT. JT and Floppy on the hot pursuit. And Hauser can rotate over as soon as they've established, hey, it definitely is B. Fang fires in, but a little so bit late. Quick. Twist even pre-fired the boost position, but you're absolutely not right. expecting this. JT and Floppy already on it. It's planted default. They're going to be looking deep toward Coff Coffins, excuse me, and Chapel. Twist does have vision. No, he's not peeking. I thought he was. I was going to say, can I have vision of JT? No one's giving much. So even though they're in this far, oh, that nade for Brokey, that's going to be so, so hard to deal with. Drops does realize someone had to. Floppy said Orange is one, though. And if they try and peek back out, he's going to have a lineup for them. Rob swings. Halzerk's there. AWP in the first oh. shot follows up. But Kerrigan did get one further. So it's all on Halzerk, and Kerrigan's going to capitalize. It's 3-3. I can't believe how passive they were on the site. That is crazy. They, they must have had an idea that this banana push was coming through because nobody was showing an inch right there. I think they started clearing everything else. Like, yeah. They, they, even the smoke dissipates towards CT, and they're like, okay, wait a minute. Where are they? I think that this first fight here from Rops, right? So this is JT not being completely aware of his angles there. When you're coming into this site, this second orange's position is quite difficult to clear. You have to worry about confidence first on the top of the box, then pivot back. Looks like he made an assumption that went against him there. But they can buy. That's a 5-7 and a MP9 as a shot whistles by towards the top of Banana Grim. Luckily jiggling out with that aforementioned MP9 and Banana Control being fought for and bought by Floppy here ahead of the smokes as JT not too far behind. So they will fortify this, at least temporarily. Grim's going to rotate back in. MP9 in hands. And smoke at the ready. Twist still waiting to see if there'll be any aggression down banana. That's a very deep smoke for the CT's complexity. He's now going to be, I think, pretty pleased that they've been given banana this time. But they're using a lot of their utility early on. Smoke for Grim and a couple of flashbangs. That's it. And I don't think there's a supply on the ground. There's not over toward B, so... Kerrigan getting closer and closer on this, and they still got a smoke to work with on that T side. Smoke gimmick here from Kerrigan. Him and Rain are just going to sit in this arch side smoke, wait for it to fade. If they see nobody, they can try and split B, but they have to deal with Floppy and JT. Fang having to worry from Library about long and the mid to B split is a bit problematic for Fang, and as the timing comes through, he's going to pivot forward. Floppy gets twist, but this is the fight they need to win. Fang gets one and done. The bomb is going to be marooned down towards T stairs. If they can deal with Rops, who has to get past Floppy. It looks like Floppy will be able to deal with this, and that's going to be it. I don't know how Rain can win around like this. Tries to see them jumping back. 16 HP. He has Floppy. That gives him access to the bomb, but there's not enough time, surely, for him to pick that up and run it to the site. He'd have to go now. He'd have to turn away from this, and round's over. Even with that kill, Rim can just walk away. 3 HP for Rain. It doesn't matter. Complexity go up 4-3. It's an unorthodox defense of how they're able to win that round there, but uh, it works out. There's been a lot of this pushing down mid as opposed to rotating back around out of complexity here, and that could have been virtue of where that bomb ended up. Obviously, the rotation point through CT spawn, a, a big issue of this as well. So dealing with an important round here is going to put questions into the heads of FaZe. Do they want to take a timeout and discuss their options? Yeah, you would want to hope so. There's not enough cash for everybody to buy here, so Carrigan's going to need to rally the troops, give them their marching orders. But good work from Floppy. This is always such a sketchy area. When you're stuck in Banana and you're getting flanked, it's never a fun place to be. And 7 HP as well. He has to win that 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 duel. Unfortunately for him, he's up against 10, 10 HP. It was a bullet apiece. Whoever was going to hit the first shot won that, and he did. I don't normally see Raban talking that much either. He's normally a, a bit more of a, a, a quiet coach in that sense. I think the game plan is all done before they get into the server. He's there maybe for a bit more of uh, moral support. And I feel like that's what's needed at, at this juncture here. And I'm glad that FaZe have taken a timeout within the first eight rounds of play. Because if it continues to be shaky like this throughout the half, Complexity are going to post a very tidy CT side. 
And the pressure's not on them. We've already discussed that. Not this for all. them is, is a luxury to even be in the playoffs. They're getting their first opportunity to take a swing at the Kings. And maybe there's something in that, right? Because Liquid worked their arse off to get through against Cloud9, and they were also the last chance to get there. So, you know, they won today. Maybe, maybe we get the same from Complexity. Tomorrow we start off with Fury and Outsiders. Just to note as well, Nuke's the third map, so even if this doesn't go Complexity's way, we, uh, we have Nuke waiting. Well, silently up in towards the window room here, Rain and Rops. As they want to try and crash this A site, smoke towards the long side, ricocheting off the wall there, standard mid util set. As the flash is over the top here to deal with any orpers flying close towards short, but Grim, he's going to stand and deliver from the bike now, sending them towards long. JT, very noisy about this rotation. He's going to deny them long access with a smoke of his own. Very stop start here from FaZe. They're waiting for a reaction, but nothing's coming. No, very disciplined from complexity. And safe as well. They are rotating this. Floppy is now going to sneak toward Cubby. Now, this could isolate him. He's going to catch out Rain. They have a gap in that. They try and fire oh. back. That's the distraction. And Grim again with a lineup. He's gotten six kills, of which three of them were lined up for him. In other words, he's doubled up in multiple occasions, three in that round as well. But man, oh man, he is the king of quad right now. This is huge. This is actually this is massive. I was saying there was no movement coming through. It did. It was just on a little bit of a time delay. And that smoke, this smoke was actually thrown out from JT. I'm not sure if it was intended to miss, but it gave Floppy a way back into the scenario. And Grim capitalizing on that. Massive work for him. He's really having a coming out party right now, Grim. We've known that this individual, especially when he got picked up by Liquid, he was meant to be the next big thing. Wasn't given the room, wasn't given the space, wasn't given the opportunity to flourish. You're here in complexity, he can be the star. Oh, okay. Uh, the twist is definitely a star. That's a zinger of a shot right there. This is the type of round that complexity need to recover, though. These are the worrying rounds that they can't just give away, and a miss from Halzerk might just be the first step in that fashion. Fang bites back with two, make it three. Defending this side all alone, Fang. That is a beautiful sequence right there. Wow. That was so tight. It was, that was like he was deathmatching. That was, yeah. But this is, I'm just shocked right now. I mean, I haven't seen anything innovative from FaZe. I haven't seen anything really that coordinated from him, to be completely honest right now. And the way brocky has been playing with, brocky has been playing with so much aggression and like something's <laughs> off with the communication right now. There's no question about it. Yeah, I, I wonder if they're just going to cite the fact that they're a bit rusty, right? That they're, they're out of practice as far as the, the officials go. But when you're the number one team in the world, right? Imagine if they had topped their group and they came through and they were already in the quarters and they're going up against an opponent who's, uh, <laughs> let's say, a little bit more favored than somebody like Complexity here. They got to this banana control. It, finally, we have a gun round. It feels like it's been a long time. The forced by wars, the crazy purchasing patterns. Now everybody has a rifle. Close Molotov for Twist just to try and hold the corner angle, but he's already been smoked back. So that's not going to work in his favor. He will stay there. He is the anchor at this point, although I say that and it changes because that's typically what happens when you're a caster. Either way, the rest of the team now starts to work and rely on information toward the other side. I thought he was going to get a double there. I thought that was a collateral. Either way, Grim inside of the pit. This time, only one over toward the quad side, but Halzerk waits for more. He's got Kerrigan down. They're just walking out and giving it up. One at a time. They're just getting slapped around the server right now. F FaZe don't look like a team tonight. I'm sorry, they just don't. This is destruction. At Halzerk, the aggression continues. They are not afraid to take fights. The one thing is meant to instill fear is the names in the server of FaZe. Looks the other way around right now. Ups and twists, two on five. Time available here, but... Grim's still in towards the pit. Fang tucked into what the B bomb site hasn't even had to rotate. They're not worried at all. <laughs> to isolate, Rob's attempting to jump over. Twist will get that kill. Fang's still a problem here. And oh, the bomb loose. I think they thought a double pit setup was in play. Yeah, but even still, why would you expose your back? Twist doesn't peek far enough to cover that. Did they even throw the smoke correctly, though? That's what I was going to question. Because, the top one way? Well, that smoke there, normally you'd want to throw it, unless they were worried about the bike position, but I thought he wanted to throw it front sight, and it missed. Could have been my eyes that missed yeah, completely here, but usually in games like this, you expect some of that was so close to a double. He actually hit the, the back player out of the two. 
usually in games like this, you say FaZe has enough individual skill that someone's gonna take the helm. Similar to Yekandar against Cloud9, right? Yeah. Someone's gonna step up. No one is right now. Well, aggression, maybe that's the answer. We'll see if the Tech 9s are gonna work, but if you're gonna be aggressive, you might wanna consider Fang. Rain's got him down. So at least they go one for one inside of Banana. handling this. This is another one of these rounds that could be a real problem, a real trap going forward for Complexity. I'm quickly just taking a look at their CT performances during the ESL Pro League group stage on Inferno. Right? Cop this, everybody playing at home. Against Heroic, they managed one CT round. Against Maus, they managed four. Against Astralis, they managed four. Here against FaZe, the number one team in the world, they already have seven. They're about to get eight. Although I say that, and Rookie does have an AK now to work with. Rops still with that Galil. And it's Bomb going back toward A. Solo pit hold at this point, although the rotation is on. And Grim looking to swing out with that M4. Kerrigan is in position to be taken down. He's low on HP. The repeat. Kerrigan swiftly gets inside, but it's Halzerk on the opposite. The opposing position is going to get the kill. It's all on to Brokey. He knows he's got a rotation. He's just missed again. They're just not hitting. They're just not landing shots. Ooh, I, look, this is not even meant to be a joke here, but Complexity acclimatized their environment, right? Like, they've been here for three weeks consecutively now. They have been here practicing in this environment on these PCs with these monitors. That was the fortunate factor that they were in Group C. Then they get to hang around. That's We have the RMRs going on here next week for the European side. There's so many prac rooms going on here, you, you would not believe it. Oh, it's like, a, it's like an ongoing boot camp for every team right now. It's insane. So th they're going to be feeling extremely comfy here in this environment, and FaZe are coming in cold. But it, still, it shouldn't be like this. this they, they, they're the number one team in the world for a reason. Oh, we're getting to desperate times now. Eight to three. Five round lead and a direct call looking to be made from FaZe. They do not have any banana control whatsoever. If they pounce over towards A now, they will be there into the swiftness of just Fang and Grim. And here we go. Utilities in the air. They're making a move. JT swings. Oh my god. Gifted. Oh! Oh, finally, they get a bit of luck going their way. Twist hits the shots. Fang thinks about going that Molotov may have saved him because that time there was no distraction from the archway side. No one to pull the aggro and give him a free flank. Three toward Arch. Kerrigan runs by the smoke. He's going to try and swing it. Spots one inside a pit already. Late to react on the shot, but has that information called. Floppy could time this so well. Fang's got one. Floppy gets the smoke fading. He finds rain. It's back to the advantage for complexity, and Fang's going to dance inside of the site. Twist has no idea, but turns to find it. They just need to hold off library. Rops goes down, but he calls the last player. Both inside of the site, though. Floppy could walk in on this. They both have AKs, though. Not at oh! AKs, I thought they were going to say. And go for the AWP shot. It's Brocky instead. They will get the round back. Four for FaZe. That comes down to a one-on-one, -on -one, and JT just had an absolute mare in the back. That was a gift. JT just gave them a round, essentially, there. Now, look, he definitely didn't want to give it to him. It's a gift he wishes he could take back, but that is one of the only ways FaZe are putting rounds on the board, unless it's the pistol. I can't believe that. That, that whiff from... They out-positioned them, Complexity. They made the right call, the right play. It was just not being able to connect the dots on that shot that really cost them. And look at Grim just running around. I think seven, there's 17 kills. Yeah, he's having a killer half. I mean, he's doubled up. He's got so many multi-kills. Fang's gonna get taken down. Flash was late, but it got there. Grim's blind. He still finds Kerrigan, so they go one for one again. Halzer, oh, the ticket damage. Twist knew he was there. He heard him trying to retreat. Speaking oh! of retreat, Grim, he puts himself in the corner. This guy's on it. He's up to 21. He's got four in this round. He's looking for the ace. He's gonna oh! get it. He is single-handedly ripping FaZe apart. Grim from the graveyard, the absolute menace here. They can't even believe what's happening. This is the form of Grim. Everybody thought we were going to get on Liquid. This is the form back in North America, mauling everybody. And now he's doing it to FaZe. What are we witnessing here this evening? Outrageous repositioned as well. They walk into it. He knows the smoke's there. He knows they're on the other side. And they just come marching in desperately. And he just punishes them. Look at him. He's like, oh, yeah, got it. Got it, guys. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. TC is loving this. Astonishment is the look on the faces right now. They are doing it. Give us some more of this complexity. Wow. EU never won the Super Bowl, Chad. That's all I can say. Hey, it's the truth. Can't argue with the truth. I, I 
But remember those score lines I was reading out before in terms of the amount of rounds? Complexity throughout the group stage on Inferno did not get double digits on Inferno. They were blown out of the server against all opponents, lesser opponents than FaZe. And now they're, they're set up on a T right now. They should be getting the double digits unless JT goes down top of Banana here. Cool your jets, Mr. JT. Backup is coming. The nade not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's enough to at least slow phase down. Thanks. Sliding out. Grim alongside with him. Halzer. Triple set right there. You got a perfectly triangulated situation to trade off of each other. Meanwhile, the march is on toward B site with just the pistols. Ooh, quick, very quick, but so is floppy dealing with this is what? Well, no, it's not floppy. It's uh, it's JT Jeez. from the back of the side. <laughs> it's anyone at this point. I mean, they're just they're just cleaning up. Props <laughs> on a. AK bomb does go down, so hang on. See if that AK can get to a better position. Missed shot from Floppy. Okay, makes up for it. I thought he was going to miss. And look at all the U2 here. Like, they have a molly, smokes, everything they need. Oh, and... the timing of that. Props hears it, but he could have had a headshot angle. Grim's going to get yet another. What's that, 23 now for Grim? What a half. Oh, dear. That is, uh, this beats even Shiro's half, because I think Shiro was 17 and 5 on Mirage when he lit Furia up. This, this is... I'm running out of words. Uh, I better find them. They hey man, pay me. full credit to Complexity. Them and Liquid have both been on the road. Liquid, I was talking to Elise yesterday, and he was saying, like, people are being hard on us right now, and we get it, we're not playing our best, but they don't understand. We've been on the road nine out of ten weeks in Europe lately. They got home for eight days total. That's it. The burnout's real. Complexity is on that same drive right now. They stayed here last week. They've been... Practicing, like we said, it's a little boot camp for everyone. Man, they're putting in the hours. You got to give them full credit for this. You and absolutely do. And it's showing in a reposition from Grim up on Rops' favorite balcony. If they can 11 4 this half, I know they haven't won a pistol yet. I, I, FaZe are looking defeated. I, I, I don't know how they're going to find themselves, but they need to because this right now, and we haven't even harped on this storyline. This is the number one team in the world who at this event could lift the trophy and the Intel Grand Slam and take home a million dollars. They're the only team with that on the table in this entire event. They're the only team close to being able to do that. This is in the runway right now to not only the RMR next week, but the major. This type of a loss, this one is going to sting. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. This, this will create animosity within the team. There's going to be some bickering over this one. There's no question. Need strike ready to go. Floppy, okay, it's gonna be utility instead to help JT. He's caught by it, but he has the lineup already set. He even does damage onto Brokey. Kerrigan, a little optimistic, trying to get around the corner. He's gonna get tagged by Floppy. He falls back inside of the site, and he is ready to fight. But Kerrigan will slide in. Now they have a chance with a man advantage to hold, make it double that to get the bomb down. So we might have a 10-5. They might pull this last round back, but because it's the 15th round, we're gonna see a retake attempt either way. He's looking a little bit better, and he slides out, doubles up. First multi-kill round that's been sustained by him all half, Chad. 10 to 5. Complexity are pretty close to pulling off an incredible upset. We'll find out if they can after the break. gentlemen this is a final of biblical proportions grand slam on the line this will be one for the history books it's time ladies and gentlemen let's light up the Lexus. the first part of 2019 was all about team liquid and for good reason as this north american roster plowed through most events without breaking a sweat and it was no different in the cathedral of counter-strike oh no this is Smokes down. He has to get around them somehow. And he gets it through the window. 
franchise favorites, Liquid went all in during the tournament and soon found themselves just in away from the trophy and the prestigious million dollar intel grand slam only vitality stood in their way and even though the battle ahead would be tough twist set the tempo almost instantly Remy k doesn't want to let them go that far this time he takes the fight to them twist even gets one at range down to just two how does twist find the second he's got a bomb he's got armor this blows oh, twist oh. he bangs him out somehow a third and he's looking for it all the way. RPK is going to try and swing around the backside. Twist switches back to the Deagle instead. Confidence in his name. He's in his oh. RPK. is found. Team Liquid. That's what it means to them. ESL one cologne under their belt. And a million dollars bonus. Unreal. What a round it was. We already mentioned how many multi-kills Grim was getting, how much he could line it up, but he just absolutely annihilates complexity. Score was 8-4. Could have been a much different half. We could have got toward 8-7, not with him in the server. No, not with Grim here this evening. Massive performance on Overpass, and he's backing it up here again on Inferno, and complexity are looking hot. This is wild scenes here for your Tuesday night. Not the Counter-Strike anybody was expecting. And, Bays might be going home. And there was the stat bottom corner. I mentioned the Shiro half. Apparently, the record this season so far was by Zontaras. He hit 23 and 7, but Grim just did it with one less death. And I would say, considering he did it against FaZe, yeah, I'm going to give him the best half of the season so far. Bloody impressive stuff it's in the playoffs. This is when it gets real as Grim leading the charge, hopping, trotting quickly out mid. They do have this long control, and Rops has been sidelined immediately. Look at the 1x bet odds. They're believing in complexity now. Yep, that switched. Grim around the corner, twists, hits one back, slow it down. He's got the second, but he needs to be ready. Oh, for the reload, apparently not. Oh, that's even better. He switches to the Glock on the ground, and he's looking for his ace. He'll get taken down by Fang, but Rain's there to clean up the damage. What was that? Okay, Twist doesn't want to be showing up here today. That was massive. All right, we're starting to heat up with the rounds on both sides of the server. There we go. Little little chuckle from Russell at the end, but still looks stressed. They need to loosen off. Okay, third one's impressive that he aims up, he hits this. Look at the ammo, two shots left. This is what blows my mind. Immediate gun switch and... Okay, cool. Yep, that's sweet. I couldn't even do that in DM after a month and a half of trying. That is remarkable scenes here. That one's going to get them fired up, but the pistol rounds again, we've had this discussion. Yes, one, they, mean, they apparently mean nothing right now. So uh, up against practically full Glocks, it's one P250 in the hands of Fang, and well, never mind. Uh, as we've noticed, Brokey is fed up with the nature of this game. He likes to get stuck in, and everybody is. So a bit of disrespect coming out for FaZe against the full eco. And they'll clean house, just one death. So the guns will come out here, the early AKs into round number three. But this is going to set the tone for this half, right? It, it just was 10-5, and we're already at 10-7. They lose this. Okay, well, we might as be calling things all tied up here. But we do need to see some life out of phase. Are the tournament favorites here? I'm trying to, I'm just going to see if I can dart back through and see if I can find the last time FaZe got blown out of a series oh, like this. Good luck. You're going to be digging for a while. I'll solo cast for a few rounds. How about that? Even that G2 series wasn't as commanding as what it's looked like out of Cole so far. Nades toward top. Banana. Brokey looking down. Smoke in front of him, but he still tries to fire him with the M4. Do you like the pace here? 
allowing FaZe to make the, the first move with these, some of these bonus guns the MP9s carried through. We'll be able to get this banana control here with the later wave of utility. Now, it feels like complexity allowing them just to rinse through this utility so they can have a fairer fight as the round progresses here. Controlling for the boiler and hauls control, that is theirs. And at some point, you would assume they'll return to Badana to at least have an inquisitive glance. More defensive utility being lobbed out here. You can see top mid incendiary deployed. A smoke towards the apartment's position. They're now working with a flash and a HE, and well, now just one flash. So not a whole lot here for FaZe to defend with. Grim wants to get through this. He's thinking about that smoke. Brokey goes for the reload. That's his chance to strike. Kerrigan in it. Oh! That's incredible. I was about to say, Kerrigan has the right situation. Holzer trades Twist, who's the man who's been stepping up so far from FaZe. I, oh, that, everything. Everything. That's outrageous. Even the running gun. Kerrigan gets blinded. He can sacrifice himself with the SMG, still do damage. He gets taken down. Rops is the only one left. This is outrageous. Fang with four. I, it just, it's, I can't believe how many dominoes are falling the way of complexity right now. That's a, a great. Take it. Yeah. Uh, look, th this situation there at that long side, I'm trying to find an eco tweet as well here because in that break, I was having a quick look at the social media. But Grim there hard commits to a trash clear, right? He trusts in the flash of his teammates so much. And fortunately so, because he has his back turned to that arch side the entire time, trusting that the flash will do its job. And it did. And then not only did he turn and get the kill on the flash player, he even found the follow-up. That is insane. Man. This is next level for complexity right now. It's, you, they're having the game of their lives. I mean, Grim is certainly having the game of his life. 25 kills now. And Twist stepped out and was like, all right, I got this. Hits a headshot. I'm like, okay, this is on. He's going to be dead. Hall Zerk's there. They have everything covered off. They're not giving up free kills. At least not often, you have to say, in this series so far. And that's that's Kerrigan running and gunning. It was starting to get some chip damage onto him, and then it just never went anywhere. Here you go. Bang. See you, Twist. They're all on right now. They're all on. Look at the first bullet accuracy on a lot of these shots. Like, it's not looking sketchy. They're not painting around them here. They're hitting the head. And Brokey might be hitting the bed very soon. Hauser sits him down. What is going on? D uh, dude, I'm I'm in. Let's go. Cloud9, you better start getting your strats ready because complexity's coming. Holy moly. This is the this is the Nico tweet. When Grim had that ace, Grim has been nuts on practice as well. That was sick. That is the highest praise you can be getting out there. There's only a few players. When you read that, you're gonna have a that that'll put a, a smile on Grim's face for the rest of the year. Yep. Okay, well... You know, we, we, were, we were chuckling at his translucent glasses because he looked, you know, he's got the, the deal yes, with yes. it glasses on in the photo. Apparently, that was just... That's his whole attitude right now. This is great. Just deal with it. Wow. There's a molly. There's a step. There's a fight. There's the win. Twist has the AWP. He's picked that up of broke. He's cold, dead corpse. And Fang might even surge forward off of a... Oh, Kerrigan. He's oh, no. He had to back off. He thought Still water... Still burning! What? <laughs> he went up that far. He's down to 2 HP. He's gone. He tried to play the clever claim. He tried to get in front of the smoke so the flashes could come through. It twists. It's a no-scope, but he's got no hope. He's down. Rocks is left in a one-on-three. North America on their feet right now. Uh, liquid win and complexity in the same day. Next thing we'll know, oh. EG will be in the top 20. All right, just calm down, okay? What, top 20 North America? They're already positions for Hey, five, look, six, I was saying seven. that, well, I was going to get the real reason other than the 4th of July to get the fireworks out, but this astonishing scenes. FaZe are out of money. They have to... <laughs> he's, he's, he's loving it. This is like the greatest day of his, his career. He's like, this is everything I've ever wanted out of these guys. Look at the one tap! Stop it! That's outrageous. Stop it! <laughs> that is so outrageous that he hits that. Oh God, man! <laughs> all right, I'm I'm in. I'm all in. Let's go. I was getting a Jaden tattoo tomorrow. Maybe I'll switch it. I'll get the complexity, yeah, the complexity logo. Yeah. Just get the Jason Lake, man. Maybe I'll do it. Oh my God! Okay. I got a red tie tattooed on me. Well, okay. Face. What what is going on? What is happening here? Not a whole lot. Floppy can't double up from the boiler position, but quick to respond. They'll try and take this space back. The AK has been scooped from Brokey now. Rops is along for the ride as Brokey does get the reposition back towards side. That's going to give the good graces for Rops to have some room. And a shot from Brokey needs more than that. Grim, of course, there for the trade. Now Rops up on his perch. 
Yeah, well, gives him a view of everything that's gone wrong. That's about it. Jumps down. He's gonna get a dink on Halzer. Two HP, he survives. But crucially, he survives. He has the AWP. Rain's trying to sneak in. He is a bit ahead of the play in the fact that he's beyond where they're looking, but his teammate and Kerrigan better make some ground soon. Okay, hang on. Now it's on because Rain did cover off that shot. He's going to sacrifice himself, oh. but perfectly traded. They had to do that. That was well taken from FaZe. That's a good retake considering the circumstances. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that could be the fire starter for this team to finally wake up into the situation that's being presented to them here. Only four rounds away from being eliminated from the ESL Pro League season 16 playoffs i'll say that equally though four rounds from tying this game and it's phase if they can get into this they can do that and we've already mentioned the complexity have had shaky showing so far on this map this is their best showing so far on inferno this is the fourth time they've played it throughout this season of pro league and there you go starting to get fired up starting to get back into the game here it's going to be a long journey for phase we have new cup next if required if they can get consecutive rounds together off the back of that one they're back in this game Deep nades, soften them up only lightly. Chip damage to the likes of JT and Fang here. A three-man banana start as they will be able to grab full control. Deep smokes, flames, and Carrigan will be ushered forward. Ooh, that's a good find. Must have caught some toes there under the cusp of the smoke. So a good opener here. Bounce smoke ready for Grim to cover off the archway side. Twist gonna nade into that. Will do damage or should on the Grim. He actually backed off, got further away from that. As always, my nade calling, brilliant. Rain, though, is going to go back out into the cubby position instead, and he's got Kerrigan there, so a double set from the M4s this time. <sighs> Kerrigan's going to try and bait it as well. He's going to try to. He blinds himself up by going out that far, though, because Grim's Flash comes through, but Rain is there to strike. And it's Brokey to close out the round 12-9. Selfless play from Kerrigan, putting his life on the line right there to make sure the bait and switch was going to work to perfection, and they're able to convert a big one. So now Money... Shoe on the other foot for complexity in this regard. We'll be having to take a bit of a save. Lost bonus. And in the second phase, we're going to have 2,400 into the next for them. This was good stuff from Carrigan to allow Rain to finish things off. So, well handled piece here from phase. Now, not only is this the number one team in the world, this is not only are they in the run for the uh, Intel Grand Slam, they're also the defending champs of Pro League. They won last season over Ents. So, uh, they're trying to defend their trophy, their title. Twist is going for the fourth. EPL title in his cabinet, and uh, that would be the record. There's a bunch of players on three. Oh, oh, I thought there was a second one. My mistake. That was actually the crosshair placement. Brokey is going to hit JT down, though, so they'll get the opener. They'll get the start. Kerrigan on the crossfire again, this time with Rops. Grim's the one that's going to go, though. Man, oh, man, does he hit? There's... He hits everything at the moment, so I, maybe I'm, he just gets both. I'm honestly holding my breath here. Like, his crosshair placement is pretty good, but it's Kerrigan and Rops to collect, and this time they're not giving up much to pistols. Starting to look a bit composed, and that could be scary for complexity. It's going to be double digits for the first time in this series for FaZe, as it's just Fang that remains. 19 kills for Fang. He's having a good performance, overshadowed by that of Grim, who's just on 29 right now. Yeah, and then the question becomes, who's going to activate in this T-half to help these two out, right? Because the uh, job's obviously not done. They still need to secure four more rounds. Now that the CTs have been able to build a bit of an economy here, you can see most of them with over that 5K mark before the rebuys come into this round of utility. It's going to take a few rounds for complexity to break them. Fortunately, it already feels like they're on the home stretch, but... There's a lot of work to be done here, especially on the T side. Now, reflecting back to the group stage, they had a couple of moves to deal with heavy banana leans, like what we just saw. They had a fast mid pop that they liked running, which is a couple extra pieces of utility three second mid. They pop through the top mid smoke. They take control really quick, and that sends the B rotation back fast. So what's the approach going to be now? Looking default heavy as JT takes banana control. Just looks like a default again here. So hoping for reactive play. Yeah, fortunately, they didn't go with the fast A maneuver. You can see on the radar, everybody playing at home, that FaZe have started with the standard 3-2 split. Oh, that's a big nade. Nice extinguish. Got a find. Oh, raised on the damage. He's going to follow it up. He actually hits it with his last few bullets. And then Kerrigan is there to take out Holzerk. So looking better off now as Rob slides out in the end. It's grim and a one on five. We've seen him kill five in a round already this game in pretty spectacular fashion, but different circumstances, I would say. I imagine there's a bit of a sinking feeling as well now as the reality sets in that it's about to be a one-round game. And the save looking likely. Now, that's if they'll allow it. There's 60 seconds for all of this. 
We can just sit back and relax here. Is they can afford to send? I would send one maybe to all the way to T spawn, but you don't want to give too much away either. Especially with Carrigan and Raynar already here. We're going to replay how this went down in Banana. So you can see they threw out that smoke to try and lure them into the fact that maybe there was a player tree. Not the case. They just laser focus down towards the smoke and pick up every kill. Now, there isn't any movement on the map here, Matt. This is where you've got to be careful as well if you're complexity with positive tilt. When things are going so True. well that you get hit once, you get hit twice, and suddenly you're, whoa, hang on, guys, we, we let this slip away, and you can, you can quickly start grasping and clutching at straws. So they need to be very, very composed about getting themselves back into this and knowing that they still are definitely out, I would say, outscaling phase in terms of the peaks they've had in this game. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think now because the economy, Grim's obviously not going to get any loss bonus here. So this AK is likely the biggest weapon in the next round with some upgrades around it, maybe a Deagle, maybe some Tech Nines. You'd want to allow Grim to play. But for Grim to get a buy in the subsequent round, they're going to need to make sure that they get the plant. Right? Otherwise, there will have to be some drops or emissions in that regard because the loss bonus he'll get, which is maxed out into the yes. next round, is not enough. So they definitely need to try and get this bomb planted. That would be name of the game if I was JT now. And, well, we do see a timeout coming through called by Complexity, likely to have this very conversation. It's only two rounds so far in this T-half. It is a mountain to climb, considering they need four more. Phaser established now. But you're right, because when you're a team in this position, it was all going so well, you, you really can't believe it. It's crazy how quick it can all come crashing down. And then at that juncture, the game will blink and you miss it. And yep. this is their best opportunity. If you get to nuke, we're not saying they can't win. I'm just saying at that point, FaZe will be back believing, back in the winning ways, warmed up. Map number one, they clearly weren't. Map number two, we're starting to see more and more of the phase that we know and love. Four AKs and an AWP on the CT side is pretty handy as well. Yeah, 4 AK says a lot. That says things have been going well over the last few rounds. Okay, well, there's the upgrades. Two smokes, a flash, and some deagles with this AK-47. Oh, the nade, Grim. He's going to go forward of it, though. He's caught it. Rain is going to find him in return, though, and a nade goes down inside of the bottom of Banana. This is cheeky. I like it. <sighs> Brokey hit a great shot because Holzerk was coming up Floppy. from small. Oh, Floppy. Floppy's going to walk right out. AWP. Rob oh. he's in trouble and he's going to follow that up as well. Watch for Fang. He's holding the off angle. Twist gets him back, but now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Bomb's still down. And I think that was called, but Floppy's picked up the op to watch it. They can see oh. this back. He missed the shot. Twist knows, and he's cleverly gone back across while he was rebuilding. So this reposition might catch Floppy out. Molotov there. Yeah, he's even going to check alt middle. So I don't know if he'll know that Twist is on the right. And with that bomb in position, Twist might get the upper hand here because he's still holding on to the Deagle. He's tagged him, though. He's tagged him, and he's hit that as well. Three on the Deagle from Floppy. 13-11. This was one AK and a couple of upgrades. Again, it falls apart for FaZe when it should be their round. Floppy through that smoke. Balls of steel. Walks out the orb. It's not ready for that at all. It's not a wall, but Floppy comes straight through. And the second shot, the second shot is an absolute beauty. Wow. Wow, and I really I really thought Twist had the upper hand on that when he forces him off to the deal. <laughs> I've never seen Floppy that fight up in my entire life. That's nuts. Just when FaZe think they have a foothold back into this. Now they still have money. We knew the economy was built. So can it be broken? Gonna need another round after this. FaZe will be able to force once more. Okay, well, again, they have this banana control. This has been a, a real battle. Complexity finally taking the tussle for it, and they traded one for one, but it ended up in their favor with that aggressive maneuver. Now, this is gonna be the hard clear. Flash at the ready. Carrigan on the tight right. Bang will have to deal with him. The jump peaks from Rain in the background are gonna try and lure them in for this. The smoke. Could be deployed at any juncture. Flashes, here they come. The clear is the most important part. As Carrigan turns away, how many can he get? One is only one, and they're gonna get both kills wow. in Banana. It's an open runway, the CT smoke's already down. This is a great call. They're gonna be in, the bomb's gonna be down for 14. They knew that they had that, and they, they knew that the repeat was coming. A great hold on the secondary. Brokey just barely got forward to that. Oh! So missed the chance. Brokey's gonna capitalize on it. He takes JT out. So Bomb gets denied for a moment. That allows the rotation to get closer, but Floppy's already checked bottom banana. They know this has to come from CTO Grim. He's misthrown that. 
forces his teammates to scurry and get back into hiding rather than go on the aggressive to try and shut down Brokey. And now he's got a chance to sight line toward Banana Grim. Locked up by the flash as well. Couldn't peek to confirm CT, but Halzer can. He's got the first one and they clean it out. It's 14-11, that was fast. They just used, Halzer just used Smokey's, uh, Brokey's defensive smoke at back sight so he could peek CT. They're playing some great Counter-Strike now. The comms are flowing. That's 14. Uh, this is, this is crazy. Like, Brokey as well by doing this, it's so lucky he gets away. Imagine if somebody was behind the smoke, spams him down. He doesn't get away with his life. Then Hauser uses that defensive smoke. They all spring and fight spawn together. This is some of the best Counter-Strike complexity has probably ever played. And it's all happening at the right time in the round of 12 to remove FaZe from contention. The upset we didn't know we wanted. I, I'm into it. I, this is, you're right. It's not even that one team's not on because FaZe have turned up in the last few rounds. Complexity is just looking absolutely solid. Rops to hold from the graveyard. This is it. This is series point for complexity. If they win out this round. Ops goes down to avoid the flash. He's got all three lined up, so composed and concise. But JT does get Kerrigan back. Eight HP. Not looking likely they'll do much more on this. I think they're not going to run all the way back and save with this much time on the clock, surely. Uh, maybe just Halzo to make sure they can't push down Banana so freely here. Rops is very fortunate. That was a perfect lineup for him. He just had to put the crosshair in the right direction and hold Mouse one. Rookies responded to this, and two of them are towards the sandbag position. As they flash over, they will flirt with the idea of having a look here. As far as the loss bonus goes, it's 1,900 into the next, so save would make sense. Hauser can drop an AK. There's going to be uh, not enough money for everybody else to get a purchase. I, I would be expecting a buy at this point in the game with the drop AK available from Hauser, but stranger things have happened. Shot him right in the crotch. He won't be needing it anyway. No, he won't. Do you understand uh, Italian? Yeah. No. Some people around here probably do. Is, I assume it's Italian. I, I could think, be. I, I could be jumping to conclusions there. I think Inferno's based in Italy. We might. Like that. Uh, yeah. CS yes, Italy definitely is. That's true. We don't see that too much in the competitive uh, map pool these days. This is. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Astonishing. It could be Spanish. Spanish is a more, like, commonly spoken language, so. Yeah, well, languages aside, everyone's speaking English right now. Us, the players on both sides of things, has, uh, this is the lineup for Robs. As we mentioned, it couldn't be easier. Dodges the flashes and just has to melt them here. So very easy stuff, and that's the three-star frag is gone. Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, Grim Floppy and uh, Fang down in one foul swoop. They will take uh, their third time out here and at a very important juncture of the game because this financial discussion that has to be had, Grim can buy himself an AK with head armor. Hauser can drop an AK. So we can have three AKs out. We can have a Galil on the board with the AWP, but it's make or break time. They lose this round, phaser up to 13. Complexity likely on an eco. We're all tied up 14, 14, and then we go to the distance of all 30 rounds or overtime. But this is an all-in shove right now from Complexity here. An important round in their campaign if they want to take down Phase 2-0. Look at that, 16-9 to on overpass. Yeah, that's outrageous. That, that one just jumps off the page at you. And Inferno's not but a good map to them either. We, we, you touched on that straight on the off of this one. Lots of utility. Expended already toward Banana Halzerk. Finds a gap in it, though, but the Molotov will then push him off of that. And it's going to be Rain jumping and shooting, just trying to do anything he can as the Molotov lands at his feet. Now yeah. reposition their utility. If you're Hauser here, you might have wanted them to come down Banana with that massive gap. That smoke was actually slightly misthrown. And they have been challenging Banana consistently, Phase. They want this full control. They don't want to give it up to Complexity early. But they will channel them back for the top mid control now. But they're lighter on U2 here, so every piece needs to be placed perfectly. Molotov up and over. Brokey to back off, flash on the lane. That'll give a bit more space for them, but it does concede that position as well. So we'll see if they can get Holzerk's AWP activated on it. They've also got a player inside of the apartments right now. Floppy is working in that direction, but it's not a commitment. And this is why we see the bomb back over in Banana and it's a 3-2 split. Defensively as well, it's the same. You've got two on either uh, on either side of Banana right now. That's, or B, I should say. It's uh... Halzerk's opportunity to find them a pick here. Now, 
This is a crisp, clean lock, boys, but uh, he doesn't know anybody's home. And twist, that is a huge peak. That's the AWP rumble. They need something back here. They've given up the fact there's so much pressure towards oh. this B site. 25 seconds on the clock. Fang will find one. Floppy's found another. There's a chance for this. They just need to deal with this Defender of Rain on the side. Rain's trying to play in the same spot. Forward to the smoke! Oh, oh, baby, he's got all three. That's what Kerrigan tried to do a few rounds ago when the Molotov came through. And it is going to be the round expiring. Time set finish. Rain with the kills as well, and it's... 14, 13. Okay, this is where we discussed already. You knew the eco was coming. It's going to have to be that from complexity now, but FaZe are battling back in. A really good pick there from Twist on that short side. Halzak had absolutely no idea it was coming, and Rain makes this look easy. Gray screen straight into Rain's hands. The storm cloud here is we got a little bit of the fan camps. So if that's the FaZe fans, we actually have more fans in there for complexity at the moment. What's going on, FaZe? Yeah. And a stand tall. What can I say? Rops is going to try and stand tall into boiler position, but man, oh man. He's been shortened down to 57 HP. JT has to watch his position as well at the bottom of Banana, but Rops hits that. He's looking alive now. Everyone's active, though. Look at this. You've got uh, 20 for Rain, 19 for Twists, 19 for Rops, and 18 for Brokey. Right, Carrigan, in game leader. You know how it goes. But everybody activating now. It's not just one player stepping up for phase, it's everybody when they need to be counted for. Yeah, and that means that everyone bar Carrigan is actually ahead of. Uh, three players right now. Oh, nice nade on complexity. So aside from Grim and Fang doing all of the heavy lifting, it is phase that is a bit more complete in that regard. This is where the mental game will get tested as well. We can play forward a couple of rounds here, assume that complexity continue the losing ways and phase pick this up when we go to the third of nuke. Complexity need to avoid getting into their head when they go into that third map of play. Yeah, you put up a good performance, Grim. Yeah, you put up a good performance, Fang. But the map's done now. It's a best of one. And you need to reset and give that energy that we had on maps number one and two. This is them just hoping to bait out a little bit more CT side utility or a kill to come their way. 30 seconds on the clock. And if there was a hope, they'd have to hit some absolute bangers of Deagle kills here. Good shot. Tainting it's ice, easy clean up with that positioning. 14-14, phase of Tide complexity when they were two rounds away from knocking them out. And I have to picture that because if they go to the third map and don't win it, that's heartbreaking with how close and how well they've played. But let's focus on this first. And Complex going to have to see if they can buy a pistol if we make it to that third as well. That's something that's going against them consistently here. Yeah, to win a pistol round across two maps, but still find themselves one map to the good and just two rounds away here as it is the final timeout call from Complexity. If we go to overtime, they have none left. They cannot choose to slow down the pace and have TC chip in. It'll be up to the mercy of FaZe and Raban, the coach of the international squad, the number one team in the world. Now, there's enough money for FaZe, even if they lose this round for 15, to drop some guns across. Rops has 6.9. Roki has a little bit of residual rain as well. Carrigan, yeah, it's really just Twist who's in the drama situation, whereas complexity on the other side of things, they'll get max loss bonus. So a plan for them feels like it has to be a bare minimum in a round like this to make sure they're competitive if we do go to round 30, or when we get to round 30. What's the approach? What's the changeup going to be here? This banana aggression has worked more often than not for FaZe. Deep incendiary. That's going to limit them completely. Lock them onto the T stairs which means nades being thrown down there in banana right now could be huge. That's what Rain's gonna do, they're backed off enough. I think they were expecting that, they were anticipating it. So he just tickles JT and Halzerk. Yeah, you can see how worried they are about any type of aggression here. Bang, when we're already 20 seconds into the round, just worrying about a late boiler peak. So they're setting their sights for this top mid control here and they're playing ahead of the smoke wall. This is gonna be a biff. Flash high. Gonna nail the positioning. Twist with two, make it a third. He's popped out from quad. That's massive and extremely needed. He's found his fourth, his second quad kill in this half. And the bomb sits down, floppy to try and pursue. And Twist just off the angle, waiting back, only with 13 HP. But this would put FaZe into the lead, the first lead since the opening pistol, because that's just how things have gone in both games, really. And he's waiting for it. Floppy's firing. Twist will pop out. Ace for him. Okay, wonderful stuff there. And in a high-pressure moment as well to get around like that, that's what Twist does. He delivers for this team. He delivers for this team when the chips are down, and now they've set themselves up to convert. I said a plan at minimum was required here to make sure complexity could be competitive going into round number 30, and they can't get it done. Twist denies those hopes and dreams, and a perfect rotation back from FaZe. They establish nobody banana. They have to take the mid-control. They clamp down aggressively with that mid-control. 
and it's beautiful stuff is complexity now. They have two AKs, but those AKs come with emissions. No head armor, no utility. Some big issues as they... Oh, it's a missed incendiary. It's a missed incendiary. Massively, massively brokey. It's going to fall off of it. I don't know that they're going to go for that entirely. The old roof molly block the smoke. Yeah, that isn't going to come back to hurt them here, but they kept three players in banana. They've just flash forward for info. Rain can call top banana clear, and then the follow-up utility helps to confirm exactly that. Top mid smoke to block, and this is well handled here. It looks like Robson Twist, if they came up top mid, could convert this just with the two of them. Phase of taking control back, and at the right time, Complexity are running around like headless chooks at this juncture. Robin starts his way inside of that boiler stairwell position, but we saw the off angle Rops is holding and he's going to hit Floppy. I was a little concerned when he looked to the boiler doorway for a second with how fast the shots have come in this game. Yeah, run of the juicy complexity. Been a fantastic showing, but FaZe, they're juiced up at this point. Broke's gonna lock them down. That's a miss, but lucky rain does. And they get both kills. Okay, hold up. We're back on. They can get into B here. They can get into B and plant. It's absolutely is on. And, and there's only one on the rotation that's close enough to do anything about it. It's Kerrigan. He's gonna get smoked off now. No vision. Robs. Oh. Smart. He found JT, but that's even better. Kerrigan's gonna deny the bomb through the smoke as well. What a read to see that full flank coming in all on Fang to try and keep complexity's hopes of a 2-0 alive to force out overtime in a one on three, it's done. Rops has given FaZe a map, but it'll be an unpopular win. A win stolen from the Jaws of defeat because this was nearly over 2-0. Now they have a chance on Nuke.